What's up everybody, welcome back to the Proto Art. So for today, I'm gonna to review this website called Splitter.ai. So it claims to be able to split any audio file into various parts. So if you have, you know, an instrumental piece or a full song, it claims to be able to separate these things. Just kind of browsing through the website. It's a free uh, site to use, and they have like a little demo preview of what they say it can do. Um, I'm not gonna play the track because I don't want to be demonetized or anything like that. But essentially you drag and drop any audio file and you have two options of a five uh, stem model or a two stem model, meaning like the vocals in all the instruments or the vocals in the instruments separated. So I'm gonna try that. So I have a song here, I'm gonna dra uh, drag and drop. It's basically just a beat with a vocal sample in it. And this does take a while to do so I'm not going to do this in real time, but it will take a while for it to analyze your file and then um, give you the option to download it as a zip file and you can unzip it and we'll check it out. So I also have the original track, uh, or the track out, so I'll compare those two to uh, what it actually sounds like and we can see if it's actually usable or if it's just a fun little thing to try out. Um, Without further ado, let's dive right into this. Okay, now our file is ready to download. So, next step is we click on this little drop down arrow. So, it looks like it reroutes me to a, another website to uh, download the file. I'll just agree to the terms. Okay, you click download. And it's going to be begin my download of the uh, file itself. So, we've managed to upload our song to uh, splitter.ai and download the uh, zip file. So now I've extracted that into uh, on, the, on the desktop and I'm going to import that into my Pro Tools session. So let's do that right now. So I have my audio files all selected. I'm going to choose convert all and I'm going to import those into the session. I'm going to hit done Say open. So now it's going to import all the audio files it downloaded from the website and we're going to compare the original versus what it did. <laughs> so I'm going to make new tracks. So now that we have our audio imported into Pro Tools, I've kind of rearranged it a little bit. Um, let me hide these real quick. All right. So I have the original tracks all located on the top here. It also makes sense in a second. So I have the original beat. And now I have the imported version from splitter.ai. So I'm gonna mute that beat and here is splitter's version of it. So let's uh, separate this out because right now it doesn't sound too bad. It sounds a little bit more tinny and thin to me. So let's let's actually look at what it did. I'm gonna solo these one by one. So I kind of grouped these all together already. So let's start with the bass. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So let me hear the original. So this is the original. Mute that. There's actually two. Oops, I missed the uh, vocal there. So this is the kick and the snare and a hi-hat. All right, and let's hear what it was able to do. So it looks like they combined all of the percussion, the kick, the snare, and everything. Ah. So you can definitely hear a lot of artifacts, a lot of compression. The 
there's a lot of gating effects going on to try to solo the uh, the drums. And in there, I'm gonna zoom in a little further. Around here, you can kind of hear the uh, guitar. Oops. You can kind of hear the do 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 da 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 bum bum bum. So I wasn't able to get everything soloed, but you know it's. I don't know if I'd say this is usable, but it's a lot better than what I had anticipated. They have another category <coughs> labeled as other. So what is that actually? I think it's actually pulling it from a different instrument. Honestly, it sounds like it might be from the bass. And it kind of carried over. That was weird. Okay. Um, moving right along. Next, they have this labeled as piano. I didn't hear anything on that. Okay. Going to my vocal. So this is a part of a vocal, actually. So let me... I don't think that's a part of that either. So that's interesting. There's a few different artifacts that this thing's actually created to... Like it's guessing what the instrument might be. Okay. Um, it definitely isn't a piano though. Okay, next up we have the vocal. So let's play the original uh, vocal. So it's just the... Okay. So that was the original. Okay. I mean, there's definitely artifacts in here. Um, if I make the waveform a lot larger, you can see those. I can hear it though. You can hear part of the kind of guitar blended in there. Especially right here. And that is actually a part of uh, synth. Interesting. See what I mean? It's kind of in the same range. So again, I'm going to guess the AI is trying to find the frequencies that are normally in the vocal range and pulling those by using like phase inversion. So let's hear. You know, that's, again, none of these sound terrible. Um, I definitely wouldn't rely on this to use for any like project you plan to get mastered or anything. Uh, there's a ton of artifacts. It would take a lot of work to try to clean this up. You'd have to go through and like, you know, you're chopping, you're muting, you're adding fades and more filtration to try to get the vocal to sound uh, decent. But, you know, surprisingly, this did a lot better than I thought it would. It was able to separate a lot of the instruments. Granted, there are a lot of, there are a lot of artifacts in here. So let me, uh, play the AI version. Oh, those, those drums are just, they're killing me. <laughs> and I'm not sure where these Two things, it's like the synth kind of got lost amongst the other instruments. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, well, aside from the piano and the other track, um, it did a pretty good job at locating the main parts of this uh, instrumental. So I'm going to play the original. So let's unmute this stuff. 
There we go. A lot more dynamic range. That part gets lost completely. And just like the, the thick, um, bassy <laughs> part of the bass and the kick drum are kind of lost in this. Um, yeah, I'm just hearing a lot of frequencies getting cut out when it's trying to use the, um, you know, it's, it's cutting out frequencies, trying to um, solo those instruments. In doing so, it's kind of working destructively and you are losing a lot of sonic range. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of this program? Um, I can see there's a few uses you might, you know, benefit from this. Um, if you're trying to make uh, some instrumentals for like karaoke if you want to if you're doing like a, a mixtape or something and you wanted to use the instrument from a song i mean you can kind of get away with using this a little bit but from just this first little experiment doesn't sound too bad so with all that being said what you guys think is this something you'd use in your own personal projects um i might do a part two of this and try a different song with more vocals to have a fair comparison uh, but with all that being said before i get into that be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss out on any new videos that I put out. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And have a new video. Alright.